bring in Florida Congressman and former U.S. Army sniper, Corey Mills. What kind of shot was this, Corey, from 130 yards? Look, at the end of the day, this is a shot that your basic training boot camp soldier is requested to make within their nine-week period. This is one of the easiest shots, and they train all the way out till 300 or 500. And when I was doing the counter-sniper, it wasn't with the United States Army. It was actually when I was with the State Department and was doing this exact thing, which is trying to look at going out with an advanced team, establishing what the perimeter is. And then as a sniper, when you would set up, you'd put together your range sketch or your range fan cards. And that would tell you where your 100, your 200, your 300 and you'd identify the areas of threat that you would be able to mitigate. And if there's multiple targets, you understand that your elevation and windage knob wouldn't have to be messed with, especially at 160 yards. You could literally just look quickly, glance, and know from the reference point, whether it be a building, whether it be a lone tree, whether it be a parking lot, maybe it's a road. Bottom line is, is that this is massive negligence to the point of me speculating on what was intentional and what wasn't. Wow. When you're doing a site survey and you're seeing this rooftop not that far away. Why did it look like the counter sniper team was a little surprised? You know, I can only speculate, and we'll have to wait until the investigation comes out, that they thought local law enforcement was potentially climbing up onto the roof when they saw a dark object on a light roof. But here's the issue. Wait, wait, wait. Minute- you're saying maybe they misconstrued crooks? For a friendly, for local law enforcement? It's very possible. I don't want to speculate until the investigation is over. But the bottom line is, is that if you saw someone climbing onto a roof that you hadn't authorized any clearance on, it's got a clear line of sight. It's exactly adjacent to the shooting where the president was sitting. And you're talking about a pop shot and you've got people yelling and there should have been comms. The minute that that local law enforcement who apparently had a rifle pointed on, there should have been an emergency frequent comms channel that they could have said, we have a shooter on the roof, shooter on the roof. Secret Service should have rushed the stage and immediately took the president and took him off and then responded to the counter sniper. The shot should not have gone off. That is the failure in itself. You're supposed to be able to try and, you know, the best security is when you go in and you're actually able to prevent an incident, not react to an incident. Even if you would have left a law enforcement officer's patrol car in that parking lot with the lights on, that could have been a deterrent. But when you have nothing that is actually showing force protection, you're encouraging this. Look, I'm not sure about who the individuals are on the individual detail secret service, but I can tell you under this Biden administration, the one thing I've seen is massive DEI hires. And I can tell you, when you, primar- when you primarily go after DEI, you end up with DIE. So when you have these counter snipers waiting until eight rounds are fired, what accounts for that? To be honest After you, the first shot, you get a return fire immediately? The minute that a shot rang out, they should have already been on scope. Your spotter should have already have called the distance if you hadn't looked at your range card, and you should have immediately engaged. Okay. There should have been no reason to have waited a single second. Now, I talked to Eric Trump after the incident. Eric and I are both gun enthusiasts. We both shoot long distance. That right there is a pop shot. But he did say, I've gone out with the CS teams, and they are one of the best. I've, he knows the actual the service detail that's with them. They are loyal individuals who actually do care about the president. I can say that was that was relate to me. But the bottom line is, is this is a massive security breach. This is a huge failure at negligence is at best. But we have to figure out why something within 200 yards. Think about this, Jesse, 200 yards. That means that an average rifle that holds one minute of angle would hold a two inch grouping if you just shot it straight off the deck, meaning on the on a platform. So now you're talking about 160, which is 1.6 inches is what its grouping capabilities are. The average head is what, six by eight, shoulder to shoulder is 20 inches, head to waist is 40 inches, and President Trump's a very large man. This is a shot that within five minutes I could teach you to make nine out of ten times. So this is divine intervention. This is the the God having his protective hand and wearing Ephesians 6, the armor of God over the president, because this is right here, a millisecond or a millimeter and change, and this isn't an attempt assassination. This is an assassination of a president. Uh, The devil was in Butler, Pennsylvania, but so was God. Well, and I can say one more thing, if I may, which is that let us also remember that King Henry II went in and said, can no one rid me of this turbulent priest? And his his knights went out and killed the Archbishop of Canterbury because they thought that was a direct order. What do you say when President Biden says it's time to put a target on Trump? That, in my opinion, is the insightful rhetoric. That's the stuff that they would have went after for the J6 stuff. So why don't we have our own J13 investigation? Yeah, there needs to be a full investigation on this. Absolutely. And it needs to not be crooked like some of these other former investigations were. That's right. Politicians. Mills, you're the best. Thank you. Thank you.